Dude, huge. All right, take your time. I just don't have a good feeling about this. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, are you freaking kidding me, dude? I'm so... Oh, are you freaking kidding me, man? I'm hooked in my head. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Just Joan here. Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't catch my last video, uh, be sure to check it out. It was a really fun day on Mosquito Lake. Well, in that video, I explained that I am without a tow vehicle. I smashed my truck into a deer several weeks ago, and it's going to be several months until I get it back. So basically, I'm just trying to jump in the boat with anybody that will take me fishing. Uh, Mike was nice enough to let me tag along with him uh, down to Raystown. Uh, we went out two days before the tournament to practice. So I'll walk you through our practice and then into the tournament and try to you know expose kind of how we like to practice and how that transpired into the tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up down below. Just to try some new stuff. Cause that's pro yeah. I mean, I could go see where they last last time I was here what what the deal was. There was a lot of fish and broom balls. But all them fish. I wasn't them. impressed with the back of the trawl creek. Now, if we if we need, was mine? Was it mine? Oh, there's a bite. Oh, hi, you jackass! I'm fishing with you Saturday. Get him. Mm-hmm. Not a boy. Oh, that come was off! Good, that was a good smallmouth, dude. Yeah, I shook him off. <laughs> on this. So as you can see on that Carolina rig fish, we started offshore trying to hit some of Mike's stuff. Uh, this particular spot, Mike's actually fishing out off the bank, but I can just barely reach the bank on a cast. So uh, I'm going to fish the bank, the bank while uh, Mike checks some stuff offshore back, here. Yeah. I and I am able to hook up. It's a largey. Oh, is it? Like a two pounder. That was on that bait. Oh, he wasn't as big as I thought he was. He's... Where are they at? We just continue with the uh, game plan, trying to find some stuff off the bank, see if that's a pattern. Oh, yeah, that's little. Seems if you fish enough of different yeah, isolated spots, now. you can finally get a bite. We are going a long time in between bites. I know the video don't show it. One thing we're figuring out though, is that the fish definitely are preferring my drop yeah. shot to some of the stuff Mike's throwing. What? I got two of them. Who's so that? Uh, Saturday could wind up like me and Mikey some days where I take to the spots and he just catches all the fish. I don't catch him fish all day, but I take to the spots and have fish. Hmm. I'm good for that. I should be charter. I'm okay with that too. That's a whole different worm. That's smallie. That's what they are, little smallies. Would you say unbelievable? I mean, that's another worm I've never thrown on this lake before. That's the first cast. Yeah, it was. That was on that. Uh... So we decide to start running some of my stuff. Um, I'm not in my I guess it's my turn to guide Mike around. Maybe we can get him a fish. Um, the rest of the day, we definitely find a pattern that we don't exploit too too much after this. Um, I do find another spot that has some fish on it, but other than that. I spent a lot of time just eliminating water. Uh, got a lot of things out of my head for game day, which <laughs> well, is always a good thing. Um, eliminating water is actually can be a productive uh, a thing in practice, and we definitely accomplished that. Big large mouth. Yeah, it's like four. Or is it bigger? Get it. Dude, we just need to guide each other. All right, let's uh, let's get off this. Yep. I just got to one of Jesse's spots, and I finally caught a fish. I take him Saturday. After so guys, that was practice. Um, in my opinion, it was a good practice. You know, the video might not show, but practice isn't about going out there and catching a bunch of fish. We eliminated some water that would take a long time to get to and fish. Um, we put together several different patterns. We gained confidence in several different things, whether it was 
fishing out off the bank, fishing the bank, um, fishing top water. Uh, got some off the wall deals figured out as well that I didn't put in the video. When we were heading in off the water during practice, I saw a ton of bait uh, in one section of the lake. Um, it really, I'll be honest, it, it got my attention. Uh, if it was my decision, I would have started in that end of the lake where all that bait was or first thing in the morning and hoped to find some schooling action first thing in the morning. I really like to throw top water. Um, Mike disagreed. He thought we should start offshore and go head hunting right off the bat. So, you know, we had to really work together as a team, not get into an argument and try to figure out what was best for, for, for us to do well in the tournament. This tournament wasn't launching until 7 a.m. Uh, it gets daylight about 5.30. So we were going to miss the first hour and a half of the early morning, which is terrible for my top water schooling activity. So basically the game plan was to start on some of his big fish spots, work in some spots I have in that area of the lake and see if we can't come up with a pattern. So let's just see how it all shakes out in the tournament. fishing uh, some of Mike's stuff, fished about six different uh, spots with no luck. It was just the Dead Sea in that area. Like, um, we pulled the plug on that, decided to start running some of my stuff. Uh, I haven't fished this all year, just figured we'd pull in and try it. He gave me the troll motor to try, see if we can get any bites right here. Oh man, I might get a bite right there. There he is. I told you. It's a little. I saw, I saw, as soon as it hit the water, I actually saw a white flash. Hey, that's the first one, buddy. Yeah, a little 13 incher. I can't believe more guys don't do it. I just don't, I don't. It's so easy, that's the thing. Damn it. It, might, it was probably a 12. I never even felt the bite, my line just started swimming. Little. I just don't want Well, I don't know what happened. I caught a decent smallmouth. It was about a 16 inch or wasn't very fat. Uh, doing the same thing in that area. I never got it on video. Don't know what happened. Um, so we decided to move spots, see if my pattern uh, on these bluff walls isn't a deal. What the hell are you doing eating a big jig? You got him? Yeah. He wanted to be in the net. I knew it was a little, the whole time he was biting it. That's only 11, I bet you. He's close. Get him. Oh, you find a keeper. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. It look better in that clean water. What the? F Are you serious? Oh. What happened? I forgot that tr about that tree. It's this wall up here. That's the one with the cave. There's a bite. Dude. 
Man, he freaking wanted it. It was down his throat. Hope he's all right. Oh yeah, he was in the top. Oh, fine. Well, I kind of just didn't really like what I had found. Uh, it wasn't super easy to get bit on those walls, and the fish we were catching were large mouth. Usually, those walls are a small mouth deal uh, at that area of the lake. Um, so we decided to go back and start fishing some of uh, Mike's spots. I do that, girl. Uh, and it pays off in a big way. I don't know if that's a That has to be rock. I drew that girl. All day I kept saying to her, fish? Yeah. Dude, huge. All right, take your time. He just now found out he's hooked, so don't do not do anything stupid. Just take your time. Loosen up your drag. He's underneath the freaking boat going, dude. Get off the troll, man. I'm not even on it. I just don't have a good feeling about this, dude. He's like... Is there anything down there he can get snagged on? Rocks, that's it. All right, just... He's way behind the boat, dude. Oh, seriously? Yes. He's gonna jump on the other side of the freaking boat. No, he's not. Okay. Tell me, he's gonna jump behind the freaking boat. What do I need to do? I don't know, Jess. Just take your time. Here. Dude. Dude, you're freaking kidding me. Oh, you're freaking kidding me, dude. I'm so pumped up. That's like a six pound smallie. That's a good one. Dude. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> oh. That's the one we need. Dude. Oh, you're freaking kidding me, man. I'm hooked in my head. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's on your hat. Dude. Look at this. I'm not even turned on. No. Dude. If this is the only fish I catch all day, I'm okay. That's the one you need. Dude. <laughs> oh, you don't know how bad I need that, Jess. You don't know how bad. <laughs> Do I need a call tag in his mouth? I hope so. So after Mike caught that 5.8 pound smallmouth, our game plan kind of changed. Uh, we had some fish up the river that we were planning on going to, but our biggest concern for the rest of the day is keeping that big smallmouth alive. Ray sounds terrible for boat wakes, and we really don't want to beat that fish up driving all around the lake and beating that fish up in the boat wake. So um, we're, we pull into this spot where Mike caught a four pounder in practice. I have one other spot that I have a lot of confidence that we can catch a fish to fill our limit. But right now, our biggest concern is just keeping that big one alive. Oh shit, I can't get the net. That's a good one. Take your time. Oh, it's a large amount too. Yes. This spot. This is always a good spot I'm for a good fish. This spot. I'm you caught it out of that brush. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Maybe that's what we needed. Do you feel better now? Yeah, that takes a lot of weight off because I started getting worried. That's a decent fish. Oh, I like the way that's my mouth. So I'm going to pretend I didn't see it. Oh, throw a bunch of ice. What's he look like? He's float like one weight fell Is he dead? Off, like a weight fell off. I saw a flash in there and I saw my bait disappear, but I think it was a bluegill. Seriously? Fuck, that's a good one, dude. Okay. It'll help. No, oh, maybe not. He's bigger than this one. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Shut those, get that, don't let that heat up. So that, there's only two smallmouth in there. Yeah. Oh, that smallmouth's bigger than I thought, dude. Yeah. I didn't think it was little. I, it's skinny, that's the only problem. Yeah, it's bigger than I actually thought it was, too. Oh my god, dude, that's a giant smallmouth. Take your time. Oh no, it's a catfish. Oh. I got catfish. Yeah, you did. Damn, you got me excited. That sucks. 
Oh my God, did I think you had one. Keeps pecking me. How deep? I got him. Now is he gonna help? I don't think. Neither do I. I don't know. No, he ain't. I just don't think unless you want to go through. Just eyeball it. Oh, you picked up a drop shot? That's yeah. pretty smart. I was... Seriously, a good one? No. Will it help? I don't know. pretty small. Yeah, oh, if I don't tiny. help. Don't worry about it. I got him. Well, you picked up the drop shot, it's pretty smart. Yeah, I know, right? That's the worst way to hold it. Uh, fast. How many are you getting? You said they're they're 250? 250 Can a I bag. get two back? Yep. Here, I'll give you this one and then this one. So it'll be five bucks then for these two. I'll tell you what, you can keep the uh, the change. All right. Thank you so much. You're then. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gave her a tip. Oh, what the heck? I'm kidding. It's his 10 bucks. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yep, thank you. Have a good one. Oh, they'll be happy, happy, happy now. Is that quarter, quarter? I just don't want to stab them another time. It's recorded. Well, we ended up with um, 13 something, I think. Uh, that smallmouth was a 580. Uh, it was good enough for Lunker. Unfortunately, we did not have enough to get the win. It took 17 pounds to win, but we did have enough for a solid second place finish and a good uh, paycheck. Really wanted to win this one. We thought we had a good chance. We just, after catching that big small mouth, we just kind of took our foot off the gas. Um, I don't have any bad decisions. That small mouth ended up swimming off. Uh, as soon as we let it go, it, it took off like a bullet. So very confident that fish survived and uh, I'm happy about that. So appreciate you guys watching. That might be a check. How does they pass the drinking small mouth, dude? Stand right my camera. That was actually.